Welcome back. This is the Glock Field Knife. Um, I've seen a lot of videos on these Glock Field Knives, the 78 and 81, and people seem to like to compare them to a K-Bar. Well, they're kind of not a K-Bar because they're not similarly profiled and don't have the same use exactly, so I don't know why that comparison is so popular. The uh, 81 is the saw-backed version, and the 78 is the plain-backed version of the Glock knife. Uh, these are still under $40 um, all over the place, and they still make fakes. So if it's $20, you might be concerned that it's a fake, but if it's $30, $35, you might be getting a real one. Um, they do say Glock on the side, and they used to say, this one used to say Glock here and Glock here, but I've stippled the handle because I like the feel better. Um, if we are going to compare this to something, let's compare this to the M7 Bayonet. Similar blade profile, except for the, the half double edge on this one, which I actually wish the Glock knife had, um, but the drawbacks of the M7 um, outweigh how much I like that blade. Um, the lug attachment on the back, overly heavy. The um, big thumb catcher of the uh, um, the barrel ring for the guard. Um, those are things I don't really like. Other than that, I really do like this knife, but it's too cumbersome. The Glock really um, is an, is an improvement over that style. Um, what else? Um, one of the things I keep seeing are all these bushcraft videos um, where people like to put their knife into a piece of wood and then hit it with a hammer or another piece of wood to use it to chop wood. Well, if you know you're going out into the bush, why don't you just bring a damn ax? I don't really understand that portion of it. Um, and I really don't want anyone to explain it to me. Um, oh, one other thing that was kind of cool about the uh, M7 is it does actually fit into the Glock sheath. It's about a millimeter too short for it to lock really well, but I think if I had a spare, I would, I would trim this down just a little bit, and that would get the uh, M7 to actually lock into this and it still wouldn't make me carry it because it's still got the issues I don't like, which is the, the bayonet attachments, basically. Other than that, I do really like the knife. Um, that's about it. Um, you probably won't see a video from me on the M9 because I actually hate that bayonet. That thing's horrible. Um, I don't know if people are old enough to remember, but during the Cold War, Russia and the United States would get in these little pissing contests. Um, the, one of the results of that was the AK-74, which was kind of a flop. They were trying to compete with the M16 with a, with a 22 caliber bottlenecked cartridge instead of sticking with the AK-47. Um, another thing is they had that really crappy Bowie style um, AK-47 bayonet that thing was just atrocious. And the United States then uh, followed suit and created the M9, and they almost made a direct copy of the crappy AK-47 bayonet, which was as equally as shitty as the, uh, as the uh, Russian version. Um, so that was a big waste of time, and I think they still issue those. But if you love them, yeah, that's fine, but I don't. Um, other than that, that's all for this video. Um, just wanted to share the little Glock that I got uh, for super cheap, and I may get another. If I get another, whatever's cheaper, I may get the uh, the sawback, or I may get the plain one. Who knows? I kind of like the sawback. It kind of has that little badass kind of look to it, Rambo-ish. Thank you, and don't stab yourself in the eye.